Moline Volleyball has been rolling through the conference play this season. The Maroons have not lost a set in Western Big Six. They're closing in on a conference title. Next up, the Maroons, a road trip to Geneseo. Game one, Moline up big. Ella Ramsey finding the right spot on the court for the points, making it 17-9. Geneseo that would rattle off three straight points to cut into that lead. Hannah Copeland, the kill, and it's 18-12. Moline would inch closer to winning game one. Lucy Irvine gets the friendly roll for the ace. And then it's Carly Rouse with the nice back set to Kaylee Brandes for the winner. Maroons win game one, 25-16. In game two, Geneseo off to a quick start. Lauren Johnson, the ace for a 3-0 lead. Things would stay tight in game two. Mackenzie Weemers gets an ace to knot this game at 18. Next would be Ella Ramsey throwing down the hammer, giving the Maroons a two-point lead. But Geneseo would not go away. Emma Frank. With the big block at the net, Maple Leafs up 24-22, but Moline would score the next four points to stay in perfect in the conference, sweeping Geneseo 2-0 and winning the Western Big Six title. Week 7 of the high school football season kicking off with games on both sides of the river, including Monmouth Roseville playing on Thursday for the second straight week. The Red Hot Titans looking for their sixth straight win at Riverdale. Opening quarter, Monroe's off to a great start. Jerome Jackson takes the handoff, will break a couple tackles and somehow keep his balance, weave his way into the end zone. The Titans grab an early 6-0 lead. Ensuing kickoff, check this one out. Derek Chandler races in, strips the football, and he goes back the other way to the house. The special team's touchdown gives the Titans a quick 12-0 lead. After another turnover, the Monmouth Roseville offense would get back to work. Silas Braun with a quick pass to Charlie Fletcher. He turns up field, would get down inside the 10-yard line. And a couple plays later, it's Chandler with his second touchdown of the night. Titans would go up 18 to nothing at that point. Chandler goes over 1,000 yards on his career. Titans roll 46 to 6. Now to Brady Street Stadium we go. Davenport West hosting number one ranked Cedar Rapids Kennedy. First quarter, the Cougars flexing their muscle on special teams. Hayden Klett fields a punt, breaks several tackles before he gets to the corner, turns on the speed, and he's gone. The punt return goes 52 yards to pay dirt. Kennedy up 22 to nothing. Later in the first, the Falcons offense would show some life. Brady Hansen finds Ryan Larson for the 23-yard pickup and a big first down. The Falcons drive would come up empty. Late first, Cougars add to their lead. Jason Williams with the touchdown. It's his second of the night. This one from three yards out. Kennedy up 29 to nothing. And the Cougars improved to 7 0 with a 43 0 win. Switching from football to basketball, Big Ten teams meeting in Indianapolis for their annual media day. And after one of their best years since 2003, Illinois is coming off a Big Ten tournament championship, but a heartbreaking exit from the NCAA tournament. Illinois also lost their All-American guard, Iowa DeSumo, to the NBA and several members of their coaching staff. But Brad Underwood and his team are ready to hit the ground running with some new coaches that are very familiar with the Illinois program. It's always a challenge, uh, and it's been a little bit different this year because of the return of so many veterans. Uh, that it, It's not just going to the court and, and we're blind. Uh, these guys have filled in. They're very, very smart. Chester Frazier, obviously a guy that... Uh, wore the uniform at the University of Illinois. He brings tremendous passion. Uh, he brings an un unrelenting work ethic. Uh, Jeff Alexander has been a guy that behind the scenes has been an integral part of, of our success and our growth. Uh, that one just made sense. He knows everything that we're doing. And then the addition of Tim Anderson, a guy that is, is an extremely uh, gifted workout guy. He's got great relationships with, with our players. Uh, and, is, and is learning our system as well, and a, and a very, very, very good staff. I love the chemistry of our staff and uh, excited about the future with them. Iowa was also in Indianapolis. We'll have more with the Hawks on Monday at their media day in Iowa City. Chicago White Sox back in the postseason for the first time since 2008 on the road to open the American League Divisional Series against Houston. Lance Lynn getting the start for the Southsiders. Not had good results against Houston. Bottom two, no score. Jake Myers, Lions. One to right field for a base hit. Jordan Alvarez scores, one nothing Strohs. Bottom three, it's two nothing. Alvarez hits one high and deep to center field. It's off the wall and Alex Bregman scores all the way from first. This one goes the way of Houston. They win six to nothing. And the other ALDS, Boston 
falls to Tampa Bay 5-0, taking a one-game lead in the series. Jim? Every game counts.